In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the uses of group 2 compounds. And I'm going to be taking a look at two of the uses of group 2 compounds. Now, the first use I want to take a look at is its use in agriculture. And the specific compound which I'm, I'm talking about in this particular, for, this, for this particular use is calcium hydroxide. And calcium hydroxide has the formula CaOH2. And this compound is used to neutralize acidic soils. And the way it does this, um, if I was to make an equation for this, maybe let me let me just select a an acid it can react with. Maybe um, uh, sulfuric acid. So let's say there was some sulfuric acid in the soil, maybe from um, acid rain. And the calcium hydroxide was to react with and neutralize the uh, the the um, sulfuric acid. So we'd have the CaOH two, and I would react with the uh, sulfuric acid, so H two SO four, and I would react to produce to produce Ca. Uh, CaSO4, which is the salt produced, and it would produce uh, 2H2O. So this is what would happen in this particular reaction. And we can actually um, convert this into an ionic equation so that we can actually see what's going on with the protons and the hydroxide ions. And the way we can convert this into an ionic equation is basically by separating all these different parts of the equation into ions and then simplifying it so what I'm going to do is separate the first part into ions and the only the parts which are actually made up of ions so like this part for example so that is Ca2 plus plus 2OH minus uh, plus H 2H plus plus I, I, you, I hope you get an idea here so plus SO4 2 minus and that reacts to produce that reacts to produce um okay that's a strange arrow let me fix this arrow that reacts to produce um let's see here it's going to produce ca2 plus and the so4 two minus so i'm basically just splitting this up into the two ions which is composed of plus SO4 2 minus plus uh, plus 2 H2O and H2O is not comp comp comprised of ions so it doesn't get split up and yeah this would basically be what would happen and so if I was to actually simplify this and cancel out the ions which are on both sides uh, so the ions which are on both sides, SO4 2 minus is on this side and that side, so that's cancelled out. And now I can cancel out the calcium as well. So cal calcium is on that side and it's on this side, so that cancels out. And if you now look at the equation, we've got that 2OH minus reacts with 2H plus. And these are all going to both be going to be aqueous for them to react. And well, no, reacts with 2H plus. Let me get rid of the arrow. This should be a plus. 2H plus. And that produces the 2H2O. And then the aqueous. Aqueous. And liquid. So this is the simplified, well, not fully simplified. If I get rid of the twos, now we've got simplified reaction so basically the overall ionic equation for what is happening here is that um, the LH the, the OH minus and I won't draw state symbols just to save time I won't draw the state symbols in OH minus plus H plus reacts to produce H2O so this is the overall underlying reaction which is happening it's a very simple acid base uh, neutralization reaction which happens between the slaked lime, the CaOH2, and whatever acid is present, not necessarily this acid, but whatever acid is present. So it can be used as um, to neutralize acidic soil. 
to neutralize to neutralize acidic soil and another use is as an antacid and this helps with heartburn and um, indigestion so if there's too if there was too much acid in your uh, in your stomach so the the, 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 the the probably the strongest acid which exists in the stomach is uh, uh, hydrochloric acid which is H um, HCl and um, the, 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 the group 2 compound which is used to neutralize this in the antacids a lot of antacids is magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide so that's MgOH and since it's group 2 it's going to be MgOH2 and so this is used as an antacid antacid it's sort of like saying anti-acid so to speak because it neutralizes the acid and so if I was to actually construct an equation for what happens here to for this magnesium hydroxide um, let's say it reacted with HCl what would happen is the magnesium hydroxide would react with HCl and it would be two moles of HCl probably and that would produce the MgCl2 and it would produce a H2O so yeah that would be this and two, two, moles of, two moles of H2O and so that would be the simple reaction of what happens when uh, those two react and again this the ionic equation for this reaction would be the same as the other one because if I was to cancel this out, maybe not drawing it out again, but just cancelling all of this out, leaving behind only the basic ions which react, as you can see, what we have left is OH, I, I write, rewrite what OH minus plus H plus react to produce the H2O. So this would be the ionic equation and with the aqueous signs and liquid. So yeah, this is the overall reaction, ionic, overall ionic equation for what happens here. And um, yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.